I see you've got yourself a Baltic hornet's nest. Baltic hornets are a variety of hornets that inhabit that area. The difference between them and other hornets is that they produce honey in their nests. Inside the nests are larvae, pupa, and adults. You can eat them all. In particular, the honey you find inside the nest is delicious and full of nutrients. It's easy to digest and helps pep you up when you're feeling tired. In short, it's the perfect survival food. Honey can also be used as a burn ointment. When honey is applied to a burn, it creates a protective coating over the skin. When you knock down a hornet's nest, a burn ointment will appear along with it, so don't forget to pick it up. Of course, the hornets aren't going to give up their nest without a fight. If you knock a nest down, a large swarm of hornets will come flying out, so be careful. By the way, Snake. What? What was that little lecture back there? Lecture? You were instructing the Gru commander, weren't you? Something about the first round or his hand? Yeah. What was that supposed to mean? Well, mm -hmm. Whenever he put a new clip in his gun, he'd always load the first round by hand, whether there was a round left in the chamber or not. It's a technique they teach in the Middle East. By making sure there's always a round in the chamber, you eliminate the risk of pulling the trigger with nothing to fire. He must have heard about it from someone or read it somewhere. In any case, he probably wanted to try it out for himself. And he was obviously motivated by vanity to show off his new technique. That's when you make mistakes. The battlefield is an unforgiving place. The only techniques you can rely on are the ones you've mastered through experience and practice. Uh-huh. And what were you saying about him being more suited to revolvers? When he fired, he was bending his elbow sharply to avoid the recoil. It looked like he wasn't aware he was doing it, but that habit can be either a fatal flaw or a gift. What do you mean? Automatic weapons use recoil to operate, so if you don't let the recoil hit you, it interferes with the operating cycle of the gun. Basically, he shouldn't be trying to avoid the impact like that. But with a revolver, there's no need to let the recoil hit you. Just the opposite. Avoiding the recoil lets you reduce the strain on your hand and arm. That kid might just be handy with a high-caliber revolver. Handy? Are you listening to yourself? What do you mean? He's the enemy. Why are you giving him advice? Uh, I... Snake. I don't know. For some reason, I couldn't help but point it out to him. Snake, are you all right? Yeah. Ocelot unit, Spetsnaz. Yes. The best crew has to offer. They're coming for me. I'm finished. Calm down. I'll get you out of here, I promise. And we've got some of the best backup we could ask for. Look. That's what they were making you build. Yes, the Shankohod, the treading behemoth, a tank capable of launching nuclear IRBM. It can launch nuclear missiles from that kind of terrain? Oh, yes, and without support from friendly units. A nuclear-equipped tank capable of operating solo. Is that thing finished? No, this is only the end of phase one. It won't be truly finished until we complete Phase 2. Phase 2. The weapon's true form. If it is completed and the Colonel gets his hands on it, it will be the 
end of the Cold War. The end of the Cold War? Yes. And then the Age of Fear will truly begin. A world war. I had no choice but to cooperate. I didn't want to die. I wanted to see my wife and child again in America. Please, take me to America, quickly. They cannot complete it without my help. Got it. Let's go. Good work, Jack. What are you doing here? Sokolov comes with me. Friends, let us fight together again. I have waited long for this day. We will fight with you once more. Welcome back, boss. Now that all five of us are together, it's time we go to the depths of hell itself. It's raining blood. Is he crying? Scene. Colonel Vogan. Welcome to my country and to my unit. Boss, what is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift for my new hosts. Recoilless nuclear warheads.
These will make a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Who is he? Another one of your disciples? Are we taking him with us? No, this one is still just a child. Too pure for us cobras. He has not yet found an emotion to carry into battle. What are you talking about? Think you can pull the trigger? out about this, we're finished. He must die. Wait. He's my apprentice. I'll take care of him. <clears throat> Jack, you can't come with us. Now, on to Sokolov's research facility. Shagohad is ours. Drift away. My place is with them now. Snake, can you hear me? Yeah, just barely. Snake, listen to me. You need emergency medical treatment. Can you move? You've got to get those wounds treated. Hang in there. All right, let's get you fixed up. Paramedic? Okay, Snake. Just relax and it'll all be over before you know it. Stay with me. I've seen people in worse shape before. Think you can handle it? Major. The boss. She's defected. We'll talk about that later. First, we've got to get you patched up. Okay, here we go. First, open a survival viewer with the start button. If you select cure, you can start the treatment. 
Healing is divided into treatment using medicine with the item window button and surgical treatment using the weapon window button. Your injuries include a fractured left elbow and rib bone and lacerations on your upper arms, right elbow, and abdomen. They need to be fixed using surgical treatment. Move the healing cursor with the left stick to the affected part of your body. Once you've selected the affected area, hold the weapon window button and use the left stick to select the medical item and then press the inner button. With this method, you can use items to help your recovery process. To treat a bone fracture, first secure the affected area with a fastener and then wrap it in bandages. That should do it. For lacerations, you'll need disinfectant to clean the wound, sutures to stitch it up, styptic to slow the flow of blood, and bandages to wrap the wound. If you do everything I mentioned, the wound should heal completely. Understood? Yeah. Stay with me. Go into the survival viewer and treat those wounds. Good job, Snake. We're coming to get you now. Just stay where you are. We'll drop a recovery balloon. Can you set it up?
great success. Thanks to the boss and her cobras, I have both Sokolov and the Shagohad. What are we going to do with the girl? Who is she? Apparently she's Sokolov's woman.
By the way, your Russian is superb. When did we speak Russian? We're speaking it right now. Sounded like Japanese to me. All right, you distract them, and then I'll be all... Watch out! Free! Oh, my kung fu skills were no use! Is he crying? Well, they're not crying, not. Kuwabara, Kuwabara! You're a messy! Wait, what am I doing in Russia?